In this video, I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step guide on how to fund your Bybit account using a bank deposit or an EFT. Just follow along with everything that I'm going to be doing in this video and depending on which country you're in, I'm going to be doing this based on a South African rent deposit. But obviously, you can check with all the steps that I'm doing and see if this option is available in your country or your region. Let's get started. I'm gonna be using my phone here because most of you are trading using your phones and also when you're doing a bank deposit, you're gonna be using your banking app which is on your phone so it makes sense. So I'm just gonna come here and mirror my phone so that I can get a larger screen real estate. If you want to deposit using a bank in South Africa, you wanna click on this one here that says buy crypto. You can also find it here but it just depends on how frequently you've been using it so sometimes it not, may not show up here so i'm gonna click here and click on buy crypto now this option is a very good option if you're using micro deposits let's say for example you want to deposit 100 dollars or maybe 200 dollars on Bybit, even three thousand or rather three hundred dollars will still make sense to deposit this way it's going to be the cheapest way to deposit on Bybit. so in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and put $2,000 or rather 2,000 rands here. And you can see I'm getting, this is very, very critical. I'm getting about $111.50. So in comparison to other platforms that you can use, if for example, I come here and I put 2,000 rands, you can see in this case, I'm getting 113 instead of getting 111 here so you can see there's more or less about two dollar different but depositing on bybit will still be cheaper if you pay attention to what we're going to be doing next so for example uh if we click next here we now have to confirm and process the payment but before we process the payment let me show you why it is still cheaper to do it this way even though there are platforms where you can obviously go and buy crypto with ZA or with your South African rent. Let's say, for example, you have now converted your South African rent on these other platforms and you've got 113. I'm just going to copy this 113. And let's assume that you want to withdraw this. Now, this is where you'll be able to see that it is way cheaper to deposit on Bybit. Here on Bybit, you can see we're getting $111. However, if we come here, and we want to withdraw the amount that we got on this platform, which is going to be $113. Now you can see if you're using the Ethereum blockchain, what you're going to be getting, you'll receive $101. So basically, you're paying $11. Now, if you're using the Binance Smart Chain, let's put $113. You can see here, you'll be getting $109. If you're using the Tron blockchain, you can see you're getting $108. So you can see that regardless of which blockchain that you're using here it is still cheaper to deposit on bybit because here as much as you're gonna buy it and get it at a cheaper price because there is no markup but you still have to withdraw and you have to pay the on-chain transaction all right so now let's come back here and complete that transaction and i'll confirm this let's come back here i'll click pay right now and over here you can select the banks that you bank with there are two banks that i frequently bank with that are not here however i still do have an apsa account so we can see this is the amount of money that's going to be deducted from our banking app so what i'm going to do in this case i will select the apsa account and here i'll put my south african id again you can follow along depending on where you are in the world and see if this is available in your region all right so now i have my id i'm going to click login so what this does that it sends a notification on my phone. Actually on my phone, I can see a notification. It's just that I'm mirroring my phone here. So I can't get access to the, to the notification. However, I can just go to the apps banking app and it will be able to show up. So I'm just going to go to the banking app here and you can see I've got a request for an online payment. So I'm going to click on view and you can see an amount of two thousand dollars or rather two thousand rands i'm always thinking in dollars it's crazy um let's go ahead and accept this you can see the transaction was verified i'm gonna click done what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go back to the website here i think i was on this link and you can see everything was done successfully now the only thing that we have to do is to go back on bybit 
and wait for the funds to be deposited directly on Bybit. Let's actually see how long that takes. You can see it's actually taking me directly to Bybit, not knowing that I'm actually using the app. So let's come out here and actually go to Bybit this way. And you can see, boom, that was done and it is instant like that. So it is way faster than, you know, buying on different platforms and then you still have to deposit and wait for the on-chain transaction and obviously pay the on-chain transaction fee. So I really recommend that you deposit this way, especially if you're depositing anywhere between 100 to $300. But that's not all. You can also win great prizes if you sign up with Bybit using the link in the description of this video and deposit at least $100 into your account. You can win MacBooks and iPhone. I'm actually going to leave it on screen here with regards to everything that you can win right now if you use the link in the description to sign up with Bybit and fund your account with at least $100 or more. And also make sure that you subscribe to this channel because we create great content for you guys uh, teaching you everything you need to know about trading the futures markets. I'll see you guys on the next video. Goodbye for now. Peace.